The fate of the nation's first new nuclear reactor since the 70s is a little bit clearer tonight. A decision was made today in Atlanta affecting a controversial and hugely expensive power plant. Correspondent Doug McElway shows us what happened. In 1955, the nuclear submarine USS Nautilus heralded the dawn of a new peaceful energy. The first of the Navy's daring doers on the Nautilus. Its propulsion system was the prototype for civilian nuclear plants. But no new civilian plant has been constructed in the U.S. since 1978. Aging infrastructure, opposition from environmentalists, and bureaucratic obstacles have dulled a once bright promise. Today, that may have changed. Signified by saying aye. 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 Opposed. That's unanimous. The Georgia Public Service Commission unanimously approved permitting of the Vogel 3 and 4 reactors in Burke County, Georgia. The owner, Georgia Power, announced moments later it will complete the plant, but under the deal it must rebate $75 to each of its 2.5 million customers because of cost overruns and delays. We will do all that we can to complete this project. Nor was this an easy decision for the state regulator. For the last decade, we've seen budget overruns, schedule being busted, uh, and it is a an inherently risky project. The risk stems in part from the just passed tax bill, which did not include an extension of nuclear power tax credits that would have made construction more economically feasible. Regulators announced the go-ahead anyway based on a promise from Republican congressional leaders. They assured me that it would be an item that Congress would take up early in January. Environmentalists and others opposed to the plant fear customers will bear the brunt of future cost overruns. The problem here, though, is that Georgia Power says if the extensions don't come through, they want customers to make up for that as well, and we think that's unreasonable. Others contend it is pressure from environmentalists that has helped increase the cost of this non-carbon emitting energy. One example is Germany, spurred in part by Chernobyl, then Fukushima. Chancellor Angela Merkel undertook an energy transformation, promising to end all nuclear power by 2022. As German plants were taken offline, energy costs skyrocketed. Two other nuclear stations in Watts Bar, Tennessee, offer another lesson in time-consuming bureaucracy and permitting. Construction got underway there in 1973, but the first unit was not complete until 23 years later. The second unit was finished just two years ago. Brett? Doug, thanks.